Hi, my name is Free Oakley. Um, I'm gonna be a senior at UC Berkeley. Um, I run cross country and track, and this is my story. So I started running my junior year of high school. Um, I played soccer for 12 years before, um, and I just remember my cross country coach, or no, my soccer coach telling me, hey, like maybe try out for cross country and. I, I don't know, I didn't really think much of it, but then um, I tried it out, ran a few races, and ended up really liking it, and just liking the culture of running. Senior year was where I really started to get a lot more serious about running. Started having a lot of success, and um, I remember probably like the first race where I was kind of like, okay, this is, something's happening, I think. Um, this race called Liberty Bell um, was where I broke 17 in the 5K for the first time and um, it was kind of like, okay, maybe like I, I just want to keep improving and getting better. Kind of the rest of the season went really well. Um, and then NXN, I won NXN and um, I don't know, it, it was crazy honestly, like I, I really didn't believe that at the time. I, I put in a lot of work and I think I had a really good support system behind me and my coach, my high school coach, was really great. She always supported me and my team too. Going into senior year track season, I think I was excited, hopeful. Arcadia was like the first big race that season. I broke 10 in the two mile. I think I ran 957. Um, and then a few weeks later it was Brooks and broke the national record in the two mile with 951. It's, it's crazy like thinking back to it and like how I felt at that time. Um, kind of just felt a little like I could do anything honestly with running. Like I, I felt like, you know, so much ahead of me and I think going looking forward to college I was like I can do anything I'm riding this high like nothing's gonna stop me not gonna get injured like nothing's gonna happen nothing bad can happen little did I know like I think I was definitely really new to running and I just I kind of took it for granted definitely at the beginning just like with the whole mindset that nothing bad is gonna happen and I like, it's gonna be fine. Um, I think I was a little naive going into college. Going into Cal, uh, yeah, that fall, um, cross country. I had a pretty good cross country season. Like, my team, we qualified for uh, nationals, and it, it was the first time we had qualified in six years, um, the Cal women's team, so that was great. Um, and. I felt like I was still riding that high and like from high school I felt like things were still going well with running and school and it was pretty smooth honestly my freshman year um, and then track season it still went pretty well um, I think I don't know I kind of felt like I was in a little bit of a slump and kind of like I hit a little bit of a plateau track season um, just kind of felt like in workouts I was doing putting in the work like had really good workouts and then it would come to the race and something just wasn't like clicking and it was definitely frustrating I was like what's happening like I, I know I'm in shape like I know I'm doing everything I can and it's just not really like I'm not getting the results I want I think that's kind of when it started I I kind of started thinking, okay, like, maybe even when I feel like I'm doing everything I can, like, things aren't always going to work out. That summer, I still had, like, a really good summer training. Our team, we go up to Lake Tahoe, like, two weeks before school starts just to, like, get some altitude training in. I remember the last day, like, I started to feel kind of a pain, like, in my hip, and I really didn't think it was anything major. I remember thinking of, it was just a muscle strain or something and then I, I kept running on it. It was definitely in the back of my mind like something 
is wrong. Like something could be really wrong here. Every run, like I would be scared to start running because something was seriously wrong and like even just putting weight on my leg, I knew um, it, it just hurt and got an MRI, found out I had a stress reaction and I mean that was my definitely my first big injury. I was obviously very upset at first. Like I was like, where where did this come from? Like at the time it didn't really make sense, but definitely like looking back on it, I knew like there were signs that like injury was coming. Just like senior year, I think I had kind of climbed up so fast in the running world. You know, you look at mile split, you look at flow track, like all these websites and the rankings and everything and you get like so caught up in it all you want to do is think about how can I get faster what can I do you start to look at like stretching rolling and then like start to look at eating I I've had problems with eating before and like you just you want to get faster and I think people think thinner is faster especially among female distance runners and um, you know, it got to me and like at the time I didn't realize it, but uh, definitely looking back on it, I really, it did affect me and I think it definitely contributed to my injury. It's hard, like you feel like you're doing everything right and um, you think you're doing all the right things because you're having a lot of success in running. You see the time on the clock and you think, okay, like I'm doing everything right. At the end of the day, like you, yeah, it's like you almost get brainwashed into thinking like um, this fast time equals success and like you really don't know what's behind like that number and what someone's going through and um, honestly like although I did have a lot of success like senior year of high school I think I was also very sad in life too and just like running was everything and I felt like I was kind of like in this mindset that I had to do everything to like be a good runner. I don't know now being a senior and looking back on it um, I think I've become a lot wiser and just knowing that um, running really is everything and there's so much more to it and there's it's so important to like have a stable like mental health and just being happy outside of running and taking care of yourself looking back on like how just my buildup of running in senior year of high school I think I definitely felt a lot of pressure like once I started to kind of get noticed more and started to see my name like up there on the rankings and started to see like more articles and like videos about me I like all I wanted to do was get better and to think about what can I do to be the best like what can I do to be number one and it's like you're never satisfied though like I would I would have a good race and then I like couldn't like I'd be happy for a little bit and then it's like okay what's next like I have to prove myself again and I have to prove that like I'm gonna keep being the best runner it was exhausting like it's a it's it was a lot of pressure and I think definitely at the time I did feel pressure but I was also kind of in that mindset like it's okay like I'm fine like it's worth it it's gonna be worth it if I can run a good time it's just hard it's it's really hard like I think high school runners um, definitely who like get to the top and they feel like they have to keep achieving and once something goes wrong like a little thing goes wrong it's just like you're a failure like you're not living up to the expectation and it's it's mentally like it takes a toll on people senior year like everything kind of went pretty well and like I didn't see that um, like injury and just like the upset until I got to college um, but yeah it, it's it's hard like when you 
you want to keep improving because you feel like that's what you have to do like you have to keep proving yourself what matters is your mental state of mind and your happiness and how you feel about yourself not what other people think about you not like the time you run on the clock not the rankings or anything like none of that matters it's so easy to like point fingers at someone and see that they're like not running the time they wanted to be or if they were at the top in high school and they come to college and their times drop or maybe they get injured it's so easy to think oh like they're a failure now or they're like it's all on them like it's their problem like they did that to themselves and it's like you you just have no idea what someone is going through outside of um, the times or like what you see in a race it's it's running is a mind game like it's so much about your mind like yes it's physical but if your mind is not right like you are not gonna run well it's taken me a long time to realize that and just to look out for myself more and not beat myself down being through injury and like going through that process over and over again and just kind of having to go to those dark places and go to those places where I really have to think deeply about why I run and who I do it for makes me appreciate it so much more and makes me appreciate the people I'm surrounded with who have been there for me and have supported me since day one. I am hopeful, like definitely now I'm in a much better place than I was freshman year, sophomore year, last year, um, even this spring, like I'm in a much better place I think mentally and physically. I do have a lot of hope. I feel like I still have a lot more in me for running. If it doesn't happen in college, that's okay. But like, I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna put my best foot forward. But yeah, I guess my main message from this, I know it's been a little confusing, but um, it's so important to just like the mental, the mental health and just like taking care of yourself. I don't know, just having, being open, really just being open to change and being open with yourself, being honest with yourself don't not lying to yourself it's taken me a while to realize that and um just to be grateful for everything i do want to shout some people out um meredith corda she my roommate she's been there with me since freshman year she's been by my side has seen me at my worst times and but has always been there for me and i'm so grateful for her so grateful she's in my life um, Annie Boos, also been there for me since day one, freshman year, and I, yeah, I, words cannot explain how much you guys mean to me and have helped me, so, yeah, thanks for listening to my story, and I was kind of all over the place, but I really hope that it helps anyone out there who's struggling with injury or anything honestly anything i i hope it helps in any way so thanks <laughs>